Hey everybody, it's Sean Seymour with 358 Studios and I want to share with you another one of my favorite Maui dives. This is a really good dive for beginners as long as there's no weather. And what's so cool about it is if you dive this north to south or south to north, it's all on one side. So there's lots to see here. You just need to know a few tricks on how to get in and get out, where to park, where to gear up, and what to expect. Like I said, really cool dive because there's this big ledge that provides shelter for all the sea life there. So there's lots of reef fish, trumpet fish. You're gonna have turtles, even some non-native fish. <laughs> and if you're lucky enough, you'll get to see some spotted eagle rays at this site. Because of the wide open sandy area, it's a great place for beginners to learn their buoyancy control. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get started on how to park your car, where to gear up, how to get down to the beach, and generally what to expect. Okay, you're looking for Kanapali Parkway, and there's signs coming from the north and from the south. You're going to go ahead and drive in to this beach resort. It's got a really nice golf course. Continue to drive in, and you're looking for a parking structure on the left-hand side. Now you're not going to park. You're going to drop your gear and gear up first and then come back and park. But look for this parking structure. Down on the bottom floor on one side, the south side, is free parking. Paid parking is on the north side. So if there's no free parking, then go ahead and go to the paid parking. You're gonna drop your gear off at this golf cart path and then walk into the beach. So drive in. It looks like you're not supposed to be here, but you're fine. Go past the no outlet sign and look for the golf cart path I usually do a U-turn here and park on the other side of the street, making sure not to block the driveway. We unload all of the gear onto the sidewalk, making sure not to block the sidewalk. Lots of people jog through here. We gear up on the other side, staying off the golf course, and then walk down this path. Now, this everybody does this, so don't worry about it feeling a little weird. You're gonna go down this path until you get to the beach, take some care within these rocks here. We had a few of our crew that had a little trouble and get ready to enter the water and swim out past the point. First time we came here, we actually dropped at the point and swam through the outlet from this little creek, but it's actually just pretty murky. So I like to swim across the outlet of the creek and then drop down. You're gonna swim with the reef on your left-hand side. The reason we go north to south is because when there is a current, usually it's north to south. And this is what it looks like trying to swim against the current. So it's up to you. You can go either direction, but we went north to south on everything we did. Now, when you get past the corner there, you're going to start swimming towards the beach. Keep in mind that people are jumping off of the cliffs on the left-hand side, and you want to stay away from that. Go ahead and use the showers and then walk yourself through the hotel area along that path. We found that just taking all of our equipment off right here at this nice grassy area and then going to get the car and bringing it over to us was much easier than walking the whole way with our equipment on back to the car but do it however you like hey even if you piss off one of the locals you're bound to get some great shots have a great dive and don't forget to ask your local dive shop about diving this site at night you will have a great time and i guarantee you if you follow some of these tips about where to park and how to get in and out of the water you'll enjoy every minute of it thanks a lot